Please subscribe my channel. For more videos press the bell icon, button and share with your friends. We gathered some of the best push dagger knives you can currently buy for self-defense. The right gear in your backpack can literally save your life. If the worst day of your life happens to be a survival situation, then you'd better be stocked with the best gear available. When it comes to the latest and greatest survival gear, it's important to do your research and make sure you have the right tool for the job. Looking for the best push dagger knives of this year? Look no further push dagger knives are particularly suited for law enforcement, military, and self-defense applications. Compact and concealable, the T-handle style push dagger makes an excellent close combat or self-defense knife. Guys, I'm here with our SafeMaker 1, which is a different variation on one of our push knives. Uh, the thing that's unique about this knife is the way it's ground. It's triangular ground. The back is all concave ground. So, there's a lot less resistance when cutting anything or pushing this blade through anything. Uh, it's got a stout rise, but it is still slimmer in profile. Got a nice rubberized grip. These are really popular and they're awesome, awesome, awesome collector pieces. This is kind of a traditional staple for cold steel and they're really popular and you can see why. It's just a really, really nice classic push knife with modern variances that make it really unique. And I am going to stab it through this to Tommy map. Every single one of those went all the way into the mat. None of those were half stabs. Every single one of those went all the way in. No effort, as you guys can see. So, this Safe Maker 1 is an absolute asset on every level. Awesome, awesome push knife. You guys ought to own one. <laughs> One of the big advantages of a push knife that I haven't alluded to is when you take this post or tang and put it between your fingers like that, it locks in your hand and makes it very difficult for someone to take this knife away. These arms are really problematic. And the other thing is it's very difficult for a centrifugal force to pull this knife out of your hand. You seldom drop a push knife. Now, when you cut, the pressure of this post goes into your fingers, but we mitigate that pressure somewhat by extending our rubber grip over the tang. As I've said a number of times, the long suit of the strong point of this knife isn't slashing, but it's a pretty credible slasher. This is the Schrade SCHF-54 Covert Double-Edged Push Dagger. A beastly backup and personal self-defense tool, the SCHF-54 Push Dagger package includes a double-edged spear point blade with ambidextrous handle that rides securely in a tough multi-carried nylon fiber sheath system. Forged from bead blasted HCR-13 Movi stainless steel, the three and a half inch double-edged blade is honed hair splitting sharp and sports a narrow point designed for cleanly piercing the toughest objects. The handsome symmetrical lines of the SCHF-54 are enhanced by the deep center blood groove and flared handle guards. Positive grip in even the most troubling situations is ensured due to the ergonomic finger cutouts, rubberized TPE over mold handle with dual checked faces and the oversized shock absorbing palm swell. When not in use, 
The blade snaps securely in a tough, stealth black, impact-resistant nylon fiber, multi-carry sheath. Position the two-inch black-coated steel belt clip to suit right and left hand upright carry, left or right hand side horizontal carry, or inverted belt carry. Remove the rear clip package altogether for transporting in a pocket, pouch, or pack. Add a length of cord if neck carry is your thing. Designed for everyday carry, personal self-defense, crafted from premium materials, and built for a lifetime. This is the new VZ Punch Dagger. Like all the other offerings in this line, they are made entirely out of G10, so they are non-conductive and will not throw a metal signature. The obvious difference here is instead of a straight handle, you've got a wide, flat T-handle with finger notches that seat solidly in the palm of your hand. They share a very similar design with the discrete daggers, making them easy to conceal and easy to deploy, especially when carried with the available leather sheath. Make sure to check out the entire line of G10 daggers and all of our other great products at easygrips.com. In addition to our Sock P family, the 177BK. Sock P has been a very popular product line, especially in law enforcement and military. One of the restrictions though is the majority of our daggers are double-edged. So we wanted to have an option for civilian carry that is less restrictive. The great thing about the mini dagger, we have this comfort pad, so it works really good for inside the waistband carry. You can wear it with jogging gear, so it's a good self-defense option for civilians. Also, we've made modifications to the clip and added a little J-hook. That'll allow it to lock into, say, a Molly system. If you're wearing it with the clip over the belt or even in the inside the waistband, it locks into the fabric so it won't pull the sheath out when you deploy the dagger. The sheath is a plastic injection molded design that allows it to be extremely form-fitting and slim. This is the Schrade SCHF 50F T-Handle Fixed Blade Knife. Designed with everyday carry and self-defense in mind, the SCHF 50F is crafted from a single piece of 9CR 18 Movi high carbon stainless steel. Weighing less than one ounce, the SCHF 50F is a dependable low profile blade that can be worn effortlessly underneath even the thinnest clothing in rural and urban settings without raising alarm. The SCHF 50F wields a one and a quarter inch razor sharp fine edge spear point blade that features a blood groove for increased penetrating power. To deploy the SCHF 50F, grasp the TPE T-handle in between the middle and ring fingers and pull swiftly to remove the blade from the sheath. Make a fist to secure the knife in the hand. From this position, the knife can be thrust forward in a self-defense scenario. The scalpel-like fine edge of the SCHF 50F can also double as a small utility blade for detailed cutting and slicing tasks. Grip is enhanced even further thanks to strategically placed palm jimping on the backside of the handle that guarantees a secure position of the blade, even when the palm is wet from water or sweat. The SCHF 50F arrives ready for action in an ABS neck sheath that features a mini carabiner, allowing the knife to be worn either around the neck or carried on a key ring. Ready for anything, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. Ghost Strike Punch Knife. It has a skeletonized T-handle fixed blade designed for self-defense applications. Made with US 420 high carbon steel, the fine edge drop point blade is coated in black ceramic to resist corrosion and keep a low visual profile. Its rubberized overmold handle is diamond textured to give you superior control. The knife includes a glass filled nylon sheath that can be worn around your neck with a 550 cord or on a standard tactical belt. The sheath also features four grommet holes for operators who choose to tie it down to molly gear. All knives in the Ghost Strike series can be carried overtly or low profile. Know your local laws before you decide how you will wear this knife. This is the Tecpato. Tecpato is the name of the dagger that was carried by the Jaguar Warriors, considered elite forces from the Aztec culture, as Green Berets are today. The engravings on there actually have some significance as well. Being from southern New Mexico, I use the Sugar Skull design. Various horns from the Devil's Brigade, which is the first special service forces of uh, World War II. You can see a Crusader cross sitting right here. Down here, we have the symbol for the Office of Strategic Services. I was a member of 7th Special Forces Group, so you can see a 7 right here. We also have three lightning bolts. If you look at any Green Berets patch on their shoulder, you're going to find three lightning bolts. And another symbol of Special Forces is the crossed arrows, so that is the Thanks for watching. Product buying link was given.
in video description.